It's time for that cover price top 10. We're going back two years. All right, guys, we're going back two years for this cover price top 10. Before we get into it, you know what to do. The subscription button, comment down below. Let me know what you think about the list. And if you got, if you have any of the books on this list, uh, hit that thumbs up if you enjoy the video. I just want a big, big shout out for cover price with New York Comic Con literally around the corner. We're less than three weeks from New York Comic Con. I want to let you know that uh, eBay, um, cover price will be on eBay Live doing giveaway shows and they're going to be giving away one of our books. I will be dropping this gem. This is Transformers 13, I believe, or 12. I forgot which number it is. This is the Ivan Tau Drip at booth 3725. A very limited amount will be online. 3725 at New York Comic Con. I will be dropping this. That is my booth. So if you can swing by, grab this. Um, it's really, really limited. All right. Cover price will be giving one away on eBay Live. I will be streaming exclusively on Whatnot throughout New York Comic Con. So keep an eye on that as well. Uh, and also give cover price a follow. They have a, they have a discount code down below in the description. Uh, it's a great tool. I talk about it all the time. All right. So let's get to our list. Let's get to number 10. This is Iron Man 219. First up amongst the numerous announcements was the casting of Thunderbolts. The long-anticipated cast and team announcement of Thunderbolts was finally revealed. The group's core members are Valentina Allegra, Dave Fontaine, Ghost, Red Guardian, U.S. Agent, Task Matter, Winter, Winter Soldier, and Black Widow. That is the Elena Belova, who we all love. MCU villains have been somewhat disposable in the past. However, this list brought spotlight back to Ghost, a character whose first appearance let fell out of interest with comic fans. We tracked this at a high sale of $130 for CGC 9.8, near mint raws at 22. Two years later, 9.8s have fallen to 104, near mints are around 13. While this is a bust, it's rather modest. It's a modest one. Uh, the current asking prices are low enough to see a spike if the character gets some fun moments in the upcoming Thunderbolts film. Uh, before I even get into talking about this, I just want to remind everybody to take what I say with a grain of salt, take that information and go run with it. Do not do what I say. Do your own do do your own research. Do your own due diligence. All right. I'm gonna give you some information based on sales, and I will give you my personal opinion, but that is all that that is an opinion. Take all types of information, put it together yourself. Now, this book is so cheap that you know, $10, $15 for a raw near mint copy. If you want it, now's a good time. I can't imagine it's going to go that much lower, but I also can't imagine it's going to go that much higher. It's probably going to stay in that $10 to $25 range for a near mint copy. All right, not too bad. Let's get to number nine. This is Captain America 354. Now, previously seeing a spike thanks to the Disney Plus series Falcon Winter Soldier, the latest announcements of the Thunderbolts have captured interest in the first appearance of the U.S. agent, John Walker. It's hot again due to the Thunderbolts casting and trailer. We tracked it at a high sale of $145 for a CGC 9.6. Near Mint Raws are at 40. Now, two years later, while we will see Wyatt Russell as John Walker in the Thunderbolts again, Many have moved on from this first appearance. Market prices have dropped to $45 for a 9.8, $19 for Newman Raw. While this is a bust, there's potential for U.S. agents presence in the MCU if he can survive the film and stick around for future films. Same thing as number 10 as number 9. A lot of Thunderbolts here, okay? Same thing. You know, somewhere between a $10, $15 to $25, maybe even $30 book in a 9.8, or I should say in a near mint Raw, not 9.8. Uh, this seems a little low, I'll be honest with you. That seems a little low for a 9.8. I feel like that's a little undervalued, but again, do your own research. Let's get to number eight. This is Truth, Red, White, and Black, number one. While Kevin Feige confirmed Captain America New World Order back in, at San Diego Comic-Con in 2022, we finally got a cast announcement. There are several surprises in the casting announcement, one of which was the return of Isaiah Bradley. One, once again, this is an issue that picked up interest due to the Falcon Winter Soldier. However, it cooled down after the series concluded. Since the announcement, Isaiah Bradley's first appearance hit a high of two fifty for a nine point eight. Uh, and $33 raw. Two years later, the prices have fallen $104 for 9.8, $33 for a near mint raw. While the trailer has since confirmed and even showcased Isaiah in action with the super soldier serum still present in his system, surprisingly, this scene didn't inspire renewed interest in his first appearance. Currently, this is a bust. It's unknown if Isaiah will survive the film, but if he does, the hope is that he becomes a mentor to a young Avengers team. 
However, even if the formation of the team has been teased for a long time with no direct confirmation or if it will even ever happen, Isaiah Bradley, I've always felt like this book is slightly undervalued because I can't imagine that the print count on this was super duper high, which means there's less out there, less near mint copies and all that. Uh, I could see this kind of staying where it's at now. Again, maybe a 10% swing up and down. Now, if this character is killed off, this book should probably fall back down to earth a little bit more. But again, do your own research. This is just my opinion. Let's get to number seven. This is the Incredible Hulk 449. The Thunderbolts make it to the top 10 once more. Yes, this is the first appearance of the Thunderbolts. However, the team is entirely different from the recently announced MCU team. Nevertheless, this book is moving quickly. We tracked it at a high sale of 600 for 9831s for a near mint. Two years later, the market seems wary of the Thunderbolts and speculation related to the film has slowed significantly. Today, 9.8s are selling for about 235, near mint raw is about 50. This is a far cry from the highs it hit in 2021 when the news first hit and raw copies are selling when, when raws were selling for over 300 in July of 2022 and 9.8s hit as high as 2,160 on Heritage. These prices have fallen back to 2018, making it a bust. Since the connection here is in the title only, it's hard to imagine the increase if it's increasing in the near future. I doubt it. You got to remember too, guys, 2021 was the height of everything for comic books. So all these numbers are going to be really inflated. So the littlest bit of news back then just sparked crazy sales and ridiculous prices. Keep that in mind. Because again, we're going back two years. This is 2020, 2021, two years, we're into, it should be 2022. This is, this is all messed up. But anyway, the numbers are the numbers. Oh yeah, we are going back to 2022. Sorry. But still, 2022 still had highs. 2021 was the was a boom. Uh, let's get to number six. This is Marvel Presents number one. Two years ago, Marvel finally released more information on the largely anticipated Werewolf by Night Halloween special. Moments after the casting reveal, a teaser has shown, was shown for the series. The teaser gave away tons of information and even teased a fan favorite character in Man-Thing. Additionally, it confirmed that it would focus on the death of Ulyss Ulysses Bloodstone, who debuted in this issue of Marvel Presents. We tracked it as a, at a high sale for $8.75 and a $9.8, $71 for Nearman Raw. Two years later, Ulysses was pretty much a plot point for the Halloween special, but that's okay, as it was one of the best pieces of content that Marvel produced post-Endgame. Since Ulysses was shown deceased in the episode, the value of this book is a bust, with 9.8s all the way down to 3.36 near mints, about $33. Still, the content did help lift up the value from its pre Content 9.8 value of 165 back in 2018. However, however, other than its age being the first issue and being the issue of you know first Marvel presents, prices should hold, which I totally agree with cover price. I think prices should hold where they're at. It's an older book, Bronze Age book. It's a number one. It's a key issue. Nine eights aren't easy to get back then. Uh, so everything going for it. But will it pop? Will it go up again? Probably not. Just your typical normal growth. So it's probably where it's going to be. Um, we're in a very volatile market. Things are going up and down like crazy. Uh, this probably is one that'll just be stable. Again, just my opinion. Do your own research. Let's get to number five. This is man thing number one. As mentioned, the Werewolf by Night teaser has officially debuted. With that trailer, we get a glimpse of giant size man thing. Of a giant size man thing. Whoa, get your heads out of the gutter. It's a blink and you'll miss it moment at the one minute and five second mark of the trailer however the first appearance of the beloved character is in savage tales number one this issue of man thing number one is much more attainable collectible and for the first solo and it's his first solo series it is also the second appearance of howard the duck we tracked it at a high sale of 1200 for a cgc 96 247 for a near mint raw how did this do two years later well it was a significant boom in value. That's right, folks. Nine eights now sell for twenty two hundred. Near mint raws pretty much have held at two sixty four. Uh, as noted, Man Thing's first appearance was a fun surprise and very well implemented. The fact that he officially exists in the MCU is enough for fans to help ho help hold and even lift this aftermarket value. We hope to see him again in future endeavors. Here we're going to see Man Thing again. I believe we are because he was too cool of a character. He's a fan favorite. We got just he was he was in Werewolf by Night just enough, right? Just enough where you still wanted more of him, but you did get a, enough of him. Great character, and we finally 
Let's get a round of applause. We finally get a boost of a book after how many videos now and a significant one and a well-deserved one. You could almost argue that Werewolf, uh, I'm sorry, that Man Thing number one was an undervalued book to begin with. Well, here we are. Uh, very nice. I'm happy with it. Great cover. First in title. Second Howard the Duck. Had a lot going for it. Uh, congratulations to everyone. Let's get to number four. This is Star Wars Kanan, The Last Padawan, number one. If you recall, this book was one was on our one-year look back last week, and yes, it's been trending for quite a while. Technically, ever since the completion of Mandalorian Season 2, this issue's key appearance has been highly speculated. Two years ago, actor Iman Esfandi, I'm probably saying it wrong, was confirmed to bring... Ezra to life in a Disney Plus series, Ahsoka, led by Rosario Dawson. We tracked it at a high sale of 400 for 98, 49 for near mints. As noted last week, in the past two years, the book is a bust as it now sells for 12 raw, 86, 98. So with plenty of content still to come for Ezra and Sabine, why has this fallen so low? Right now, faith in the executive direction in Star Wars content is low. However, it's mostly due largely to the supply of copies listed. Now, there's a lot of them out there. Since it was speculated for years, it's allowed time for comic fans to uncover copies and back issues and dollar bins. Everyone then waited for this moment two years ago. And finally, when Ezra and Sabine appeared in live action form, overwhelming eBay listings that were met with low demand. Economics kicked in and sellers quickly lowered their prices to where they are now. Additionally, the market pivoted from its focus to Ezra and Sabine's more prominent appearances in issue number six. With that said, this could still see a small bump in price when they reappear on screen. Issue six to me was always the one that everyone went after. And if I remember correctly, oh, it's not even on this list. Issue six is the one you want. Do your own research though, don't listen to me. Let's get to number three. This is Avengers 43. At number three, this is the last top 10 book related to the Thunderbolts. The first appearance of Red Guardian is the oldest Thunderbolts related book on our list, although it may have a higher price point. That has not stopped this book from having the highest seven day sale trend two years ago when it compared to the other Thunderbolts books from the list. We tracked it at a high sale of $1,549 for CGC 9.4, $120 for Near Mint Raw. Two years later, this vital issue and classic cover has seen a boom in near mint raw prices to 225, slight drop for 9.8s to about 1400. A loss of 150 is pretty modest for this, even if you're not a Red Guardian fan. This is still an early Avengers issue that most fans would love to own. It shouldn't radically shift in price anytime soon. Still, hopefully, actor David Harbour steals more scenes in the Thunderbolts and leans into the team lead role. Like, you could almost argue him and Black... Well, him and... Uh, what's her name? I always want to say Ravona. We just did it. Anyway, the Black Widow. Uh, they were the best parts. And I'm not talking about Scarlett Johansson. Uh, Pew. What's her name? Something, Pew. And it, bleh. Um, anyway, they were the best parts of Black Widow. He was fantastic as Red Guardian. Um, Florence Pugh was fantastic as Black Widow. So, like, with them coming back, you may see a bump in this book. It's going to be modest, though, but it's still a Silver Age key. So, just remember that. You have a Silver Age Avengers key. All right? Let's get to number two. Uh, before we get to number two, if you could please, again, don't forget to hit the thumbs up, subscribe. But down below, there is a cover price discount code. Use coverprice.com. Check out all their, their content as well on YouTube and on TikTok, on Instagram. And while you're on TikTok, give me a follow, too. Why not? Let's get over. Let's get to number two. This is The Incredible Hulk 250. Perhaps one of the most exciting cast reveals of Captain America New World Order was the inclusion of an obscure and little-known character, Sabra. Her cameo spiked to a high sale of $452 for 9.8, $44 for Nearman Raw. Two years later, we have yet to see her on screen, but that's coming soon. However, the market tends to move on quickly, and that's exactly what happened here. This is a bust with 9.8 selling for about $175, $22 for Nearman Raw. If Sabra can capture fans' attention in the film, this could see a bump in price. We'll see. Everybody, everybody's thinking about Captain America and Thunderbolts now that the trailer dropped. So we'll see what happens to these books. We are getting to our number one book right now. This is The Incredible Hulk 256. Sabra's first full appearance takes the number one spot this week. We tracked it at a high sale of 900 for 9.8, 56 for Near Mint Raw. As noted two years later, the market has let this aftermarket value fall for this key issue. It currently sells for $390 and a 9845 for Near Mint Raw. This is a bust graded 
but pretty much break even raw, which is interesting. In 2016, this sold for $57 and a 9.8. So despite the drop in value two years later, an MCU appearance has definitely helped this increase in value. While we wait for the film, the question going into it is whether she will be a mutant like her comic counterpart. If so, this could be interesting. That's our top 10, guys. Don't forget, remember, uh, Cover Price has their top 10 movers and shakers list. Come back next time because I think we're going back three years. I don't remember what the next one is. Either way, we're going back in time. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, keep it comics.